Thanks for that, Jess. This morning, a local woman is setting the bar pretty high, becoming the first deaf student to be admitted into the University of North Florida's School of Nursing. Now, at one point, being fully deaf, that kept her from imagining she could actually be successful in the medical field. But now she's paving the way for others to follow in her footsteps. So I was born deaf. My mom's side of the family, all the women, are deaf in one ear. Born without one of her five senses, Bethany Baker was challenged early on in life. When I was a six, about six months old, my dad tried to scare me um, and expected a reaction, um, but I didn't have that. Well, really, I learned sign um, at about seven months old because as soon as my parents found out I was deaf, they were taking classes um, to learn sign language they could teach me. Myself, Baker, and her interpreter, whose voice you hear while she signs, we sat down and she says she attended the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind and after graduating, she aspired to pursue a career in the medical field. People really look up to their nurses. People really had connections uh, through their pain and their suffering, all of their sicknesses, their fears, and that made me realize I'd really like to be that person for some other people out there. Now a 27-year-old becoming the first deaf student accepted into UNF School of Nursing, the pressure to succeed can be quite heavy. I feel honored and at the same time overwhelmed. I'm the only deaf nursing student here, so that means that I really feel I have to do the best that I can to make me as well as the other deaf people of the deaf community look good. And you're probably wondering the obvious question, how in the world is this even possible? Well, luckily there's an app for that and it works with her stethoscope. It allows her to see a visual of the heartbeat plus so much more. You know, I, I think it is making an impact on, you know, on the students with whom she's working just to make them want to strive to be better. I'm learning how to be a nurse, they're learning how to work with a deaf person okay. and um, how to work with deaf patients in the future. And with that, she says she's committed to breaking the stigma. It means so much to me because I want the deaf community to be able to do anything they want, not be limited to, you know, working in deaf education or teaching American Sign Language. I want them to be able to do, you know, much more than that. So Baker is currently completing her clinical rounds at Flagler Hospital, and she plans to always be an advocate for the deaf community, of course, while striving to set new standards in the medical field.